and welcome back for Ren's Kitchen Chaos. I know it's been a while, but guess what? We are live from India. And for today's special edition will be chicken curry. So, what do you need to make chicken curry? Well, not much really. Uh, you need a chicken, of course. It's about 800 grams here. A couple of onions. You've got some garlic paste, you can find that in tube form in some shops. Uh, you've got the ginger paste here, again, you can find that in tube form. Some uh, garlic cloves. Uh, Spice-wise, oh, we need some uh, chicken stock cubes, which will uh, dissolve in a bit. And cinnamon sticks, you only need one. You've got some red chilli powder here, the hot stuff. You've got turmeric powder, cloves and green cardamom. So uh, let's get started with the onion. So you're probably thinking, crikey, India. Um, well yes, a year ago we were in Poland and the captain, myself, we sort of decided, hey, while we're youngish, <laughs> why don't we explore new ventures? And so yeah, India came up and we said, well, why not? You know, uh, We've even got Frankie, uh, he's here with us. Uh, that wasn't too much of a problem getting him over here once all the paperwork was done, but uh, he's enjoying it. He likes the hot weather, it's good for his bones, so uh, he's very happy here. Um, yes, yeah, so been working here for a year. No plans of going anywhere else yet, but uh, it's been good to us. Uh, the food, as you can imagine, has been amazing. I've been learning and learning and trying out new things. Um, but uh, yeah, this chicken curry here, this is... Uh, one of the first ones I wanted to learn is like how to make a proper chicken curry without using the uh, chicken, well not the chicken, the, the curry powder you find in supermarkets. Um, funny enough, it's, curry powder is difficult to find here. <laughs> uh, they don't use it, they use the proper, the real stuff, you know, do what I'm going to show you. So, um, the curry dough they do have here is the fresh curry leaves, of course, which are absolutely stunning. If you ever get a chance when you come to India, if you come to India, uh, to taste something called Chicken 65, uh, you'll, you'll have the proper flavours of India. Uh, it's a sort of a, I don't know, deep fried chicken with... Uh, what's it's got curry powders, it's got ch green chilies, it's got onions in it. Really, really nice and very, very spicy. Uh, I don't have to chop this too uh, finely. Um, you'll see it's a, it's a bit of a strange recipe. Everything goes in at the beginning, and then we remove everything, uh, and then just carry on cooking the um, we carry on cooking the chicken in uh, the sauce that we obtain. But you'll see it's very simple. You have to try it at home. There, I'm pretty sure you can find all the different um, all the different spices in your local deli or delicatessen or even the supermarket. Um, so that, that, that's not an excuse. It's, oof, crying here. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back on YouTube with you. <laughs> uh, they've got very pungent onions in India, that's for sure. So uh, yeah, cheers, yeah, chop the onions, about a cup and a half of onions. I'm going to uh, chop a few garlic cloves. Now, this is really strange. Um, don't worry about the state of them. Um, this is India, it's very difficult to get really fresh stuff um, but it's not it's not too bad I just pulled germy thingies out there and um, what we're gonna do we're gonna actually cook the garlic before we cook the onion you'll see it's a bit strange but what it does it gives a very strange burnt taste um, to the garlic which is important it's one of the important flavors in this chicken curry so uh, I'll be finishing the, gar the garlic chopping that up and uh, I'm going to boil the water, dissolve this too, and then uh, we'll do the whole cooking part in a few seconds. Right. So uh, one of the ingredients I forgot to mention earlier was uh, in India they got for cooking something absolutely wonderful. It's called ghee. Uh, to you and me, uh, we know it as clarified butter, simple as that. Uh, but it is a really, really nice way of cooking uh, different things. Uh, we use it instead of oils and butter and things like that. It's really nice. Uh, as you can see I'm taking a, quite a substantial lump there. Um, it's healthy. Let's just say that. <laughs> so yeah, geese and the pran. If you don't find clarified butter, you know, feel free to use normal vegetable oil. Uh, that works very well too. There you go. So, so vegetable oil works very, very well. So what I want to just do here is melt the ghee up and um, slowly 
uh, start cooking these things and I, I need to show you in which order they go because it is relatively important so uh, let's melt this ghee up uh, try to move the camera a bit at the same time oh there went the kettle I want to uh, to make oh how much is that about half a litre half a litre of stock here uh, so I've put my two chicken stock cubes in there there we are so about half a litre don't need more there we are uh, what I also want to do in there is uh, I'm going to add some turmeric uh, to this, yeah, there you go. So there we are. I'm going to add uh, a teaspoon. That is a teaspoon of turmeric. Boom, into that. And I'm also going to add a teaspoon of chili powder to it. Now this is not your run-of-the-mill chili powder. This is a very potent Indian one that they have here. And you can see I'm brewing quite a, a heaped teaspoon because we do like it spicy. Yeah, in this household, spice is king. <laughs> so yes, there's the stock with chili powder and turmeric powder. Now I hear the ghee on the other end there that's melted. Okay. And here's my chopped onions and chopped garlic. The garlic, this is very important, goes in first. And I'm, you know, it's very roughly chopped. It's actually going to get all sieved out at the end. Uh, there we go. I'm going to give it a little bit of colour, just a very little bit of colour. And it, um, it stays in the whole cooking process until the very end when it gets taken out. But uh, the, the, the little colour that it's going to get is going to give it that little slightly burnt taste and it's, it's actually a very important taste. It has to, it has to go, uh, it has to be created to, to, to make the chicken curry successful. Um, chicken curry, unlike a lot of things you find in Western restaurants, you know, there's, there's nothing in it. There's just chicken and sauce uh, and that's it. Now you can see it's got a nice golden brown. Yeah, so that's ready. I can now put in the onion. There we go, onions in. And stir it all around. Now, having put the onions in there, we'll slightly slow down, of course, the cooking of the, the garlic, but you can see they've got a nice golden brown. I want the, uh, the onions to get some colour now, just a little bit of colour. Uh, they were red onions, so they won't colour as much as you would use like uh, yellow onions or white onions. Um, but uh, I think you know, most of you here listening to this have probably cooked onions before in your life, so you should know when they're more or less done. Um, yeah, yeah, that's looking pretty good. As you can see the garlic has got a nice little toasty brown. The onions starting to go translucent. By the way, this is very hot heat there. Yeah, very hot heat. Um, the ghee is uh, brilliant because it doesn't really burn. Um, well, I guess it, it would if you put on ghee. Yeah, the heat was nothing happening to it. I guess. I've never tried it. I've never tried to burn ghee. Um, but it's, it's really fantastic. Uh, to this. So anyway, there's my onions and my garlic. Now what I want to do is add the spices. Spices are sim it's very, very simple. Cinnamon stick. Uh, I've got quite a thick bark here, but I'm just going to use one uh, because it's really rich in flavour, this one. There we are. In it goes. I also want to use cardamom pods. And I'm going to put uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, not, 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 not that many. I'm going to put about ten. I think that's about right, isn't it? Ten? Yeah. Yeah. It was eleven, I think. Never mind. So I put about 10 in there and cloves. Cloves, I'm going to put about 16. Um, uh, oh, what's this? There's a tree in it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, one or two more. I, they, 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 I, I, I'm, I'm putting a bit more because I know that they actually they don't have much flavour, these ones. Um, so there we go. Anyway, back to the cooking. Now, my spices are in with the onions and the garlic, and I'm just trying to release the oils a little bit. Okay, while this is happening, let's just give this another stir to make sure it's dissolved. I'm going to take the chicken, I'm going to cut the chicken into little pieces. Uh, yes, at some point, I need to put the garlic 
paste and the ginger paste. That's a good job I just thought of that. Um, right. Ginger paste open and garlic paste open. Um, I'm just need to air. Yeah, can you hear the crackling? That's the that's the pods. That's the spices. They're starting to crackle. This is very good news. This means I'm ready for the pastes. And the pastes are ginger paste, about six tablespoons. There you go. And the garlic paste, about six tablespoons. Yeah, yeah. sounds like a lot, but uh, it's important. Yeah, trust me on this one. So there it goes. And, uh, we, we're going to try and dry this uh, this paste up a bit. The ginger and garlic is very watery, as you can see. Let me get it. It, it. So we're trying to get the water out of the ginger and garlic paste. I've turned it down a bit because uh, it was switching a bit too much. While this is cooking, let's get that chicken ready. Uh, I like a lot uh, this type of chicken, this uh, boneless leg. Uh, I, it just, it's got all the right bits to it. It's got meat, it's got a bit of fat in it. Um, I don't know, it's, for me it's the best bit uh, when it comes to cooking things like this. So if you can get them, you know, go for it. Otherwise, you know, get, get, get a chicken. It doesn't matter if there's bones or no bones. It's just nicer to just be able to, you know, bite into it like that. So here's a chicken. That's one pack done. They say in, uh, in literature, <laughs> cooking literature, they say if you're going to make a chicken curry, try and make it uh, bite-sized chunks. Uh, well, yeah, I guess it's served very hot. You don't want to pick it up with your fingers straight away. So um, bite-sized chunks. Why not? Why not? There you go. And the second pack. Um, here in India, you can buy chicken fresh. Um, I'm just a bit, I don't know, cautious about this. So I buy mine frozen. Uh, it, it ju I just trust it more. You know, it's the it's, it's, it's same as fresh nearly. It's just been frozen as soon as it was slaughtered, really. Uh, it hasn't been hanging around on a on a counter for days, you know, you never know. Uh, they're big chicken eaters here. <laughs> uh, you, you get your chicken and your, your, your goat. Uh, Muslims eat a bit of goat here, that's pretty much it. You, uh, Westerners, we can find some buffalo in some areas um, if you want a bit of beef. But uh, yeah, mainly, mainly chicken is the main, the main meat. And you get chicken sausage, chicken salamis, chicken, yeah, chicken at every flavor you want. Um, yeah, that's how it's looking here. Slightly, slightly drier. It's a lot better. The last piece. That's it. It's, it's, it's live from India. I mean, that's extraordinary. Who would have thought a year ago that we'd been that in India? You know, I had no idea. Absolutely no idea. It just out of the blue. So, uh, yeah, it was fantastic. Fantastic move. Don't regret it at all. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be bringing you some much, many more cooking <laughs> videos straight from India and its cuisine. So chicken chunks straight into the pan. Boom. I'm going to wash my hands too because I've been handling. I've been handling raw chicken. I'm going to let them sink. Got a great little thing here, an automatic soap dispenser. Yeah. So I don't even have to touch anything. Sorry, I'm filming me washing my hands. I should be saying something intelligent at the same time, shouldn't I? Um, so yeah, not not a move we not a move we expected, but um, the opportunity rose, and so we ended up here. And uh, our main motivation, I must admit, was the food. So uh, here goes <laughs> back to the food. So what I want to do is just gently. Um, I'll put the heat back up. Just gently give it a little bit of colour to the chicken and mix the uh, onion, garlic, paste. So yeah, so I managed to give it all a bit of colour here. Um, I just try not to see too many bright pink bits. 
Uh, I'm not trying to cook the chicken at this point, just, uh, just giving it a little bit of colour. You can see my cinnamon stick still in there. Um, the flavours from that are going to come out very soon. There we are. That's pretty much ready. So now we're going to stick the stock on it. And remember that stock was turmeric powder and chilli powder. Fantastic. All I need to do now is uh, bring this to the boil. And uh, since I'd used boiling water, that should be sh quite quick. Bring it to the boil. There we go. It's bubbling on the sides. How's the gas doing? Yeah, now it's 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 boiling on the sides as you can see and what I'm going to do I'm just going to turn the heat down and I'm going to let it simmer like that for about 10 minutes. Uh, chicken in cut in chunks like that cooks very quickly and you don't want to overcook it. So about 10 minutes and, uh, and then I'll get back to you uh, for the next step. So yes India. Um, where exactly? Well, this is uh, Hyderabad, it's in uh, Andhra Pradesh, kind of in the middle of the pointy bit of India. Uh, it's not a bad place to be, uh, except today it might get a bit wet later on. We've got a cyclone heading our way. Uh, those of you who are watching this video uh, at the time it's made, you'll, you'll know there's a big cyclone that's about to hit Andhra Pradesh. But, uh, but we should just get wind, uh, the, the rain and maybe a bit of wind, because uh, we're so far inland. So yeah. Um, not a bad place to be. So it's been uh, roughly 10 minutes uh, of low simmering. There we go. So we can move on to the next step. And the next step is quite simple. You take some tongs and you remove all the chicken bits. <laughs> there you go. One by one. This will take a couple of minutes. So I'll come back to you. But basically I'm going to remove all the chicken bits. And and then I'm going to take all of this lovely yummy sauce. I'm going to strain it here into this pan, and uh, I'll pour it back onto the pour it back into this uh, shallow dish to further reduce the sauce. Uh, and just before uh, serving, I will put the chicken back into the sauce. So I'm just going to muck around now and take all the chicken out. And uh, yeah, I'll be back right, with you. Yes. So I've managed to remove all the chicken there. There you go, and uh, now I'm going to pour this carefully into this sieve. Now I'll try not to put stuff everywhere when I do that. Um, goes back on the fire. This I'm going to try and get all the liquid out of. Uh, while the other one's already on the fire, I'm going to already put some of the liquid in there so that it doesn't burn very up. Um, what I'm going to do on the other end there is, um, here, I'm bringing it to a gentle simmer. There. What I'm trying to do is basically reduce it uh, quite radically. Uh, I'd say by by about half until it just about starts coating the back of a, of a spoon like we say for some sauces but uh, we do want it a little bit liquidy a little bit soupy um, and uh, this stuff well I know some of you are not going to like this but this is going to be binned um, I'm, I'm guessing some people could always use it uh, but I've, I've boiled all the goodness out of it you know and I'm, I'm, I'm squeezing it I'm trying to get every last bit of juice out of this onion and garlic and ginger paste mixture. There are all the spices in there too, the cardamom pods, which, you know, some people love it, but some people might find it a bit of a shock if they had to bite on one. Uh, and then of course the cloves, which are great if you've got toothache, uh, put on your tooth, but uh, in your food you try and avoid eating them. So that's what's going to be left behind in this little sieve. And you can see that from the whole, say, cup and a half of onion and uh, the, the roughly 
three tablespoons of garlic I had there. There's only fiber left really. Uh, I'm just pushing all the liquid through here. It's all soft. Uh, and I basically got a bit of fiber left. So that will be bin and the rest of this sauce where it will go back in here and now it's in here I can put the chicken back in uh, no actually no hang on a minute I'm going to uh, reduce this uh, for about yeah, higher fire turn it up a bit uh, I'm going to reduce this for about five minutes and then I'm going to put the chicken in and then carry on uh, cooking it until it's it's ready to eat really uh, but that, that, that that's you know that's that's the basics. This is chicken curry. This is how you make it. So um, let's have a look here. So it's very watery right now. Uh, there's no reason why it would be creamy. I haven't put anything in there that would make it creamy. But I uh, I just want to concentrate the uh, concentrate the flavours. Um, this is also a good time for seasoning, um, which is why I'm going to just sample a little bit. Mm. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, it needs just a tad of salt, uh, but not much. Mm. Oops. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Really, not much. Uh, salt goes very sticky in India. So you have to put a lot of rice in it. So there we go. Uh, stir that in. You can also adjust certain flavors like the heat is the red chili powder if you want. You can add a bit more red chili powder to it. Um, it just depends how hot you want it. But be careful with the chili because it, uh, you know, some some of it has got some sort of after effect. <laughs> so um, you don't necessarily want to go. Mm, yeah, I could do with hotter, but actually, between one taste and one mouthful, there's a big difference. So um, just be gentle with it. Let me just. Mm. Yeah, that is absolutely perfect. Um, you can see the, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, the, the bubbles are becoming a little bit thicker. Yeah, very slight thicker. So now's a good time to add the chicken to it. So chicken, back in. And remember, don't overcook the chicken. Yeah? Um, I'm not going to say keep it pink because you can't. You, you can't take the risk, not with chicken. Um, in an ideal world, uh, it'd be fine, but chicken is one of these meats that's just that little bit too risky to eat pink, in my opinion. I mean, I, I know it all depends where you get it from, blah, 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 but still. Um, but no, just uh, just just cook it past pink. It's a little like fish chicken, you know. Fish can very quickly get overcooked too. Um, so there, there it is. And uh, this is it. I'm I'm just going to let it bubble here for about five minutes, and I'm be ready to serve. And uh, yeah, enjoy, absolutely enjoy. So yeah, back in a minute. So there we are. This has been simmering. Um, for about five minutes you can see the it's still liquidy but it, it's got a, an unctuous feel to it so you can see that uh, that's how it should be served i've got a little bowl here i've made there, can you see that now you would serve that either with rice or with i don't know chapatis or or toast you know just a simple toast i'm gonna have to sample this just to just to make sure it's all right <laughs> oh my god oh my. Mmm, that is so good. Mmm, smell India. Mmm, <laughs> unbelievable. All right, I'll get back to you. Unbelievable, unbelievable. This is so good. I had to go and drink a bit of water there because um, it was also so hot. <laughs> um, but 
very very tasty and, and I'll probably make a couple of toasts and uh, carry on eating this bowl of chicken um, I'll have to give some to the captain too um, I can't do any to Frankie but yeah in my book mm, the absolute best chicken curry in the world very simple very easy to make and uh, you'd be you'd be really stupid not to try it because it's it is that easy and the flavors are just power in your mouth so yeah i hope you enjoyed this um i'll be learning more stuff local cuisine <coughs> and um yeah i'll be making another film really soon so until then so okay, this bye -bye. was it, the chicken curry um yeah absolutely delicious absolutely delicious and uh, just before we go say hello hello frankie hello no, you can't have any of this. It's full of spice. Okay. So, uh, yeah, eat it. Eat it. Enjoy it. Eat it with rice, parattas, I don't know, bread, potatoes, whatever you want to eat it with. You just eat it and try it because it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Right. Until next time. Bye-bye.